A lot of people I know use Copilot when coding, but I'm not a coder, so I haven't been able to try out any of this functionality. But this week, I did successfully make a batch file. So let me give you the scenario. To take a long story short, I had a project where I needed to create a number of individual frames as images. And the quickest and easiest way for me to do this was to lay up everything in a PowerPoint file, so I've got all my individual frames in there, and then use PowerPoint's save as JPEG feature, which when you do this, PowerPoint will prompt you, do you wanna save just this one slide or do you wanna save all of them? And when you save all of them, it will save all of your files, uh, all of your slides within that file into a folder with the name slide one, slide two, slide three, and so on. The trouble I had was I had a lot of slides in there, more than 100, and what I realized is PowerPoint saves them with a very simple naming scheme that doesn't sort correctly. It goes slide one, 10, 100, two, three, four, five, you know, slide two, slide 20. Not exactly what I was looking for. So the easiest answer for me, I can't change PowerPoint, would be to write a quick script that renames all the files so I don't have to do it manually. So using very natural language, Copilot to the rescue, I opened up Copilot and wrote a prompt about uh, my challenge saying, I have these slides named one, two, three, and so on. My issue is I cannot sort them out numerically. They need padding in them. So it's 001002. Can you write me a command script that will do this? Very easy, simple, natural language into Copilot. And sure enough, it gave me a very elegant, very simple batch script. So within that directory, created a new batch file, edited it in Notepad, pasted in the code that Copilot gave me, which I could then save and run. Voila, very easy to do. It renamed all my files and did exactly what I was expecting. So uh, I can spot check that as you can see here and have a look and I can see all my files have been now nicely renamed for the project I needed to do. And there you have it. So while I haven't been able to use Copilot as a coder because I'm, I'm not a coder myself, I was able to use it for a very simple batch script project, which is sort of like coding, simple coding, uh, but it did it flawlessly, didn't even have to check it, didn't have to think about it. Very easy to do.